a nice okay. moment happened at the Grammys. I didn't watch the Grammys, but I, I saw clips. I have to say, it sounds like they did a great job at the Grammys the other night. Entertainers entertained. There was very little politics, a little bit from Annie yeah. Lennox on the Israel thing, but yeah. whatever. Sure. Um, for the most part, it sounds like it was a great performance driven show. And the best moment, I, I'm sure you feel as I do. Maybe you don't. I love Tracy Chapman. I've been singing her songs yes. my whole life. I was hoping she, you'd say that. <laughs> yes, the fast car. I mean, like when I was a freshman in college, I think that what, that came out. And it was, we sing it all the time. It's so catchy, such a beautiful tune. It's such a great message. And um, when her, her song got covered by Luke Combs and uh, rose up to the top of the country charts, the lunatics on the left wrote about it like it was some white privilege situation. He yeah. he co-opted her music as if that's even legal. You know, he'd have to get her permission. He'd have to pay the of copyright. Course. Anyway, um, and she came out at the time and said she loved it. And she was really honored because with her, I guess it only ever hit t top six back in the day, you know, 88, whatever, mm -hmm. whenever it hit. And with him, mm -hmm. it wound up hitting number one. And this was somehow used by these crazy lunatics on the left to say it's like a white privilege thing. It could never be done by a black woman. It was like, what are you saying? It was one of the most popular songs in the country when she was the one singing it. And I really loved this moment for many reasons, including that this one was kind of a middle finger to those people, but really just to see Tracy Chapman, who does not come out in public a lot and sing a lot publicly yeah. at these award shows. She took to the stage, sang it with him. Here's a clip. Best of the night, SOT 13. You got a fast car. It's fast enough so you can fly away. We got to make a decision. Leave tonight or live and die this way. So good. I'm right. singing. You're just singing, singing it. <laughs> Such a good moment. Ah, it it gives me chills. I've probably watched it eight times. I like you. I did not watch it live. And I just go back and watch all the important clips. And first of all, when I heard Luke's, when he did the song last year, last summer, I was so happy because he is an incredible voice. And to me, it was all about respect and honoring a beautiful piece of art that Tracy Chapman wrote and sang all those years ago. Um, and, and it celebrates Tracy, doesn't it? And then you see them on stage. And I thought they did a brilliant job on the camera angles. And that's why I kept watching it over again, because you could see Tracy. And I think the one that you just showed, you saw Tracy close to you. And then you could also see Luke. And he kept looking back over at her and smiling and deferring to her as he should. It's her song. You could tell it was an honor for him. And if people know the whole story behind Luke and why that song meant something to him, he 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 talked about it somewhere. And it was about, you know, when he was a kid, little kid, and his dad, you know, put that cassette tape in the car and played it for him when he was a little boy. And so the love, it's all about love of the song, right? And and music, which I think usually brings us together. Finally, to me, it was such a, and I tweeted about this. I thought it was also a beautiful moment for, for, for many reasons, for all those reasons, the story behind it. But just what you see when you see those two people on stage, so different, right? From very different eras. That is diversity. That is America. That is the definition of it. And to me, I mean, you can we can be a prisoner of the moment at times, but I thought back to some other amazing Grammy performances, probably more from the 80s and like Michael Jackson era. But I haven't seen anything like that really since then. And then you saw the audience shots, right, Megan? I don't know if you saw yeah. that in the clips back, but you had all the different artists, like country, pop, rappers, everybody standing up, singing and cheering them on. It was beautiful. And I think that the left has been a little bit silenced with this one because of such the positive reaction afterwards. These people are just bored. They just have no life and like to stir the pot. But Tracy and Luke shut them up. Yeah, she came out. Well, hopefully we'll lay the clip in later so the viewing audience can see. But she came out and when the audience realized she was there and she was playing the song, they went nuts. And you see the big smile come over her face. She was obviously extremely flattered. It was all about her music. She just played and they ate up every second of it. It re really was a, such a feel-good moment. It's amazing how music can do that, right? Like 
I was saying to my friends at Sirius XM, I, I've never been a big concert person, but I've been going mm -hmm. to more thanks to my pals at you know Sirius. Like they have access to a lot of musicians, a lot of concerts, and I, I've been saying yes more. And it's transformative, Sage. I, they offered to me and to Doug to go to the Green Day concert uh, like a month oh. ago at this very small venue in New York. And Green Day was just in the news for ripping on MAGA. And shock, this punk band from the Bay Area is not pro-Republican or MAGA. Who cares? Right. I, I couldn't care less what their politics are. They didn't bring any of that up at the, at the show. They were so talented. It was so fun to watch them. It really does just standing up and singing and swaying with the music with your fellow man. It puts you in a great mood. It's almost church-like, dare I say, it's almost church-like. I, I agree with you. Um, I Every time I've heard that Fast Car song from day one in whatever year that was, was that 88? 88, early, it yeah, was 88. 88. Uh, I smile because of the words and the meaning and um, this true, beautiful storytelling with that. You know, I, um, by the way, I went back and I forgot when I played it the other day, I forgot that I had downloaded um, all the Tracy Chapman essentials, um, I think on iTunes or whatever, years ago. And I went, I've been listening to it for the past couple of days because of Tracy. I kind of liken music uh, to sports, to be honest with you, because how many people were at that Green Day concert? You know, tens of thousands of people, just well, like small. at a football game small, on a thanks Sunday. To, right. Thanks to serious, but their average oh. concert fills an entire huge stadium. This one was in a small yeah, venue. Yeah, yeah. Well, that, see, that's the, even better when it's the small venues. But in that venue, whether it's, you know, 50 people, or 50,000 people, for those couple of hours, what happens? Nine times out of 10, everything is cast aside. And your race, your religion, your gender, your socioeconomic status, your politics, none of it matters. You're just, you know, enjoying Green Day. You're just rooting for the New York Giants or rooting hard because the New York Giants never win, right? But like it brings <laughs> everybody together. And I love it. Music and sports really does. And for a couple hours, we can all kind of forget about the crap, you know? Let's discuss a crucial aspect of your financial health, your credit report. It's time to face a hard truth. Your credit report could be suffering due to unfounded reputation damaging claims. These are the kind of claims that simply will not hold up under rigorous scrutiny, so they must be tested. And that is where Lexington Law Firm comes into play. For less than $100, Lexington Law champions your cause using a comprehensive arsenal of consumer protection laws to fight for your best credit report. Lexington Law is fully equipped to challenge those exploitative creditors and aggressive debt collectors who obstruct your financial path. Go and visit lexingtonlaw.com for a complimentary credit assessment. Then let their experts place your credit under the microscope, ensuring that it reflects your true financial story. Remember to mention that Megan referred you at lexingtonlaw.com, empower yourself, with the right team on your side. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.